Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Andreas. Say hello. Hello. Andreas is in Sweden, and I did one of my random emails and said, do you want to be on Pictures, Noise and Words? And he said, no. <laughs> Uh, and then he said yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was hesitant. I was, but of course I have to do it. Um, people obviously don't know Andreas. Andreas comments under the name Hollow Bones, and you will have seen that um, a lot. Uh, so he comes from the land of metal, basically. Um, yeah, so they say. Well, there was a time in the in like the the two thousands um, when I was doing reviews for magazines and things. And I, in one of my reviews, I actually said, oh, look, at yet another band from Sweden. It's like, they're just stumbling out of the woods, you know, the, yeah. the snow-covered woods. Um, and it's just a, an amazing metal scene in Sweden, isn't it? Yeah, we do. We have a, a great metal scene. And um, yeah, there seems to be bands like in every city. Yeah, absolutely. And, and really good quality stuff as well. You know, yeah. Sweden's got its own sound. Um, and it's got, you know, some huge bands, of course, that come out of that country. I was going to start naming some and then thought, you know what, I'll get it wrong and find out they're from Finland <laughs> or something. You know, I always do that. So, yes. Yeah, so, so welcome, Andreas, obviously. Um, Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Andreas has recommended a song, but that's not this time. That's going to be next time because he's here for a couple of videos. Um, this one is, he says... It is where I do my usual, haven't got the right button pressed. Eh, eh, what would you expect? Any, anything else? This is Torchia, uh, a song called La Magra. And I do not know this song, and I don't think you do either, do you? Never heard of them. No. Okay. So well, this will be fun. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, I think that's the, the reason my channel exists, is to kind of seek out new things. Oops, it went a bit Star yeah. Trek then. Um, but... Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got this one from the PR company, um, which is what tends to happen. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I take it back. This is probably a YouTube recommends. I don't know. Who cares? Torchia La Magra from Finland. Um, so if the video's not full of snow-covered woods, I will be disappointed. Um, so there's not a lot I can say beyond that because... Other than, oh, I'm pointing in the wrong direction because I've changed my screen around. There's the album cover, <laughs> which Andreas can't see. Um, but there it is. It looks like it's going to be a fun ride. Um, so as, ever, as it's taken too long to even to get this far and people are shouting, get on with it at their screens, we should probably get on with it. Now, Andreas can't what? see what I see or hear what I'm hearing. So I'll have to count him in and he'll have to watch it on his own. Um, so a good go. Yeah, I'm good to go. That's good. Okay, then. I'm going to press go in three, two, one, click.
If there's one thing I don't like, it's a fade out. You don't? No, I do not. I feel like they just couldn't think of a way to end the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know. it, has its pla- it has its places, I think. Yes, whereas in this wasn't it. <laughs> because this yeah. is just... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think if songs are... Um, like if you got like a progressive song or something, then it can be oh, part, yeah. part of the structure that it that it you know, or whatever the song's about or all that. Whereas this just felt like, oh, let's just play that riff out several mm. times until it and, and fade it out sort of thing. Having said that, I really quite liked it, but I don't want to. You you say something before I talk all over it. No, I liked it. It was good. It was. Uh, I, I think it was. Well, it's Finland, and you can always know what you get when it comes to Finland. It's good metal. Mm. And uh, this was definitely it. Okay. Because I like that musical um, riff that they had. Because it wasn't just just a repeating riff. It was actually quite musical. Uh, And and it was almost too musical for the kind of song it is kind of thing, but it worked oh. really well. That diddly 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 and you're like, wow, that's kind of quite upbeat, <laughs> you know, for, yeah. the, for the song. But um, the other thing is, there are certain kinds of growly singer that I just don't like. And then there's other ones that I can listen to. For, for, and I like this guy's voice. It's got, I don't know what it is, whether it, but whatever it is, I quite like this kind of growl and this other kinds where I just go a bit, you know, it's just yeah. a, bit, a bit too, I don't know whether it's too sharp or whatever, but I quite like that guy. No, but this was like a rumble. It was consistent. Yeah. It was dark. It was, yeah, I like it yeah. as well. Gargling with gravel kind of, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. kind of voice. Yeah. yeah. So, and it, and it suits, it actually, all together, because you've got his deep, growly rumble. And then you've got that nice melody, but you've got good production and you've got good driving drums. It all came together, I think, and worked really well. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think how to put this. It it seemed a little bit repetitive towards the end. um, And it was only four and a half minutes. But that might be just me being picky. Um, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I think it was it was a good listenable song because sometimes you can get these like it's a driving force. It's all aggressive. It's just yeah all the way. Yeah. yeah, and and this was yeah this is something I could listen to again and again yeah. and again because yeah. you I, you can have it you can have it in the background and it's just you know what it is and it's good. Yeah, I think it's very listenable. I didn't get any snow covered forests, but you know no, I th- I a lot of dirt though. Maybe they went to Iceland to film it or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got I got a few uh, Mishuga vibes of his pose there, sitting bare chest. Oh yes, yeah, uh, from the yeah from the Obsen cover. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I really I really quite liked it. Yeah. There's a ton of stuff coming out <laughs> of the Nordic countries, and it must be really hard to make a space for yourself. Um, but... Probably, but. Well, one thing that's good is that nowadays the the production seems so easy for a lot of bands because it's always good production, and I guess you have to have that in order to get somewhere. But there's a lot of new bands coming out with seriously good production and great sound, great quality videos, and these guys may be huge in Finland in the metal scene. I have no idea. But for me, that doesn't know them. Seeing this as their first video for me, perfect. And I've I've said in the past about production back in you know back in the eighties you had it would cost you thousands of pounds a day to yeah. hire a studio to to you know put to record your album so you had to be in and out in you know as fast as possible basically to be able yeah. to just just so you didn't bankrupt yourself just trying to make your album and then and it was analog and it was hellishly complicated and you needed to hire an expensive person to press all the buttons as well yeah and today you do it from your bedroom absolutely production has come yeah. production software has come on so much and digital and the ability to fix things that it in post not that 
any band would admit to that but the, but you you know <laughs> you can make you can put make it all be in time and you can f- drop yeah. in just single notes if necessary or whatever and you've got all this manipulation you do still need to know what you're doing but i think the skills are eas- easier to learn now because yeah there's a million and one tutorials out there and the software is readily available for not vast amounts of money even professional yeah. quality <laughs> software um, which, which I guess then also puts a pressure on the bands themselves because they have to perform this just as good live. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've produced this amazing thing, but we can't actually play it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and the other thing is about videos is 4K is cheap now to buy, mm-hmm. and drones have taken away all those expensive helicopter shots. So yeah. everyone can get these cool video over a cliff edge and you know out to sea and and floating yeah. above them and all of that with a you know a, a couple of hundred pounds worth of drone or hire an operator for so compare again compared to and and i'm not suggesting it's easy and i'm not suggesting it's cheap it's just nah. it's just in the old days it was out of reach you know so so sort of relatively unknown bands unless you've got a record company willing to give you a big ton of money all you could do is play in a room and record it, you know, and, and yeah, because that was all anyone could afford. Yeah, um, yeah. Looking back at, at um, like other bands back in the day, seeing just they're in the basement playing. Uh, absolutely. And there's one guy running around with a camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Their, their their buddy who's just you know, yeah. Who, yeah. Which which of my friends has got the best camera? Gets invited yeah. <laughs> and sort of run around. Then we'll just overdub all the music afterwards because it, you know, yeah. which which is still. And we, we have to it. hope that it's synced up okay when we layer the music. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, oh, bear with me a second. I just had a pop up pop up right in the middle of my screen. That was rude. Look, luckily, it didn't record it, so I shouldn't have mentioned it. But it was way right across my screen. I went, ah. Um, yeah. Pro production. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll edit this bit out, which I won't because I never nah, edit. I never, that's why we love you. I never edit anything <laughs> out. Just, just, yeah. Stuff goes wrong. Just let it happen. Cats climbing up behind me or whatever. Um. Yeah, I've lost myself. So yes, that was Torture and La Magra from this this album. He says, trying to point in the right direction. The name of which I've completely forgotten which I probably didn't even mention. The name of which is... We don't know, because it's not out yet, and they no, haven't announced a, it. Just a, yeah, it's just a third album. It's going the video. for a third album. And offline, I did actually go and look for it when I looked for the album cover, and it, as far as I can tell, it, it, it doesn't, it's not been announced. So there is an album, oh. and it's their third album. And I, I'm only just hearing about these guys now. By the power of YouTube which is how I imagine quite a lot of other people are just hearing about them now too. Um, they got a couple more videos out looking at the, looking at YouTube, or their, their own Torture official channel. So if that's your thing, go and check them out. Mm. Okay, yeah, then. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, and everyone else will too. And I'm sure you can get it on Bandcamp. I don't know if you can. I haven't looked. Um, and Bandcamp owe me some money at this point. So that's all I've got for today. How about you, Andreas? You uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Then. If everyone's wondering why I keep looking down there, it's because on my screen, he's over there. <laughs> um, and the camera's over here and he's over there for technical reasons. Um, but anyway, that's not important right now. You got it in there. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't easy. <laughs> As ever, let me know what you think. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.